and this step we're gonna install uh, the actual uh, Oracle UCM installation files uh, within the web logic. Let me show you how to do it. I have a DVD uh, uh, loaded in my machine that has uh, Oracle UCM installation files. All you need to do is just to click uh, setup.exe. It's a big contrast from uh, previous version. It, it's just asking you for location of uh, your Java virtual machine. And that would be under C Oracle middleware JDK GRE. need to paste that location in here. The Java virtual machine was installed as part of uh, WebLogic installation. Now that we specify the location of the Java virtual machine, the installation can proceed. We've completed with checking the prerequisites. And uh, WebLogic server must already be installed, which it is. Uh, Oracle Home Directory we find with the default location. See Oracle Middleware is there. Just need to verify the installation. There's the installation summary in here, and then we just click install. We'll come back when the installation is complete. About four minutes into the installation, our installation is nearly complete. And there is uh, the final configuration left to be done. set up getting stuck at 86% but it's actually doing its work just fine. Another few seconds and it will complete successfully. Just waiting for setup to complete, so you might uh, want to fast forward the video to the end.
That's it. So that was successfully completed. Still showing 96% for some reason. It's uh, a little tiny issue that Oracle might want to look at at some point. Everything is completed successfully now. Starting the execution of post install scripts. That's it, everything is completed successfully. You can just grab that installation summary if you like. Uh, which is pretty much the Oracle home location, Oracle ECM1. Uh, or you can just memorize it or take a note and click finish. We now have uh, Oracle ECM uh, complete, completed, set up completed successfully. And we only have one more step to do is to create a domain. In this step, let me show you how to create your WebLogic domain. Uh, it's a very important step that uh, finalizes your configuration and uh, lets your content server run uh, as a managed server within WebLogic. Here's how you do it. In the Windows environment, you go to C uh, Oracle middleware that was uh, a WebLogic home a directory that was created during WebLogic installation. You go to Oracle ECM1, which is a uh, name of uh, the Oracle e ECM installation, the ECM installation within the WebLogic, and it goes to a directory called common and a uh, directory called bin, and you start config.cmd. That starts the configuration wizard for WebLogic. You can create a new domain. You're going to pick the content server. Just be careful not to click on the wrong product because all of them have the same prefix. You're looking for the second part of the name. In our case, as a content server that uh, also uh, checks in the dependencies. This is normal. Click next. And uh, let's call it ECM base. We create a username that will be used for all administration. This is the actual uh, user that will replace the sysadmin, uh, uh, the typical user of the sysadmin user. Well, the sysadmin is still there, but uh, you can do all of your administration with the WebLogic administrator uh, user. And uh, let's give it a password. It has to be eight characters. We're going to stay in development mode. And we're going to continue using Sun SDK, which is uh, the best, smallest memory footprint for development mode. There is a memo here explaining the differences. I'll click on the next. Uh, we'll use the UCM schema. And a UCM schema is using the SQL Server in our case. And the user is dev OCS. And uh, the password is a password that we uh, uh, used when we using the RCU to create a schema. Database name in our case is ECM. And the host name is uh, in our case again is VPC server slash SQL Express. Uh, the host name slash database uh, server instance name 1433 in our case is the port number. Click on next. It's going to test uh, our database connection. test was successful. Click next. We, uh, we don't need to modify any of the optional configuration settings. Uh, we'll verify configuration and we click create. That's it. The main was created successfully. Uh, there is a confirmation screen here that uh, shows you all the settings. 
we can also go ahead and start admin server now and we click done This video has been brought to you by ECM Solutions. ECM Solutions offer tailored, street tough, uh, but at the same time very affordable work of ECM education. We allow you to mix and match your topics to your task and the project at hand, so you only pay for the information that you really need and not uh, paying for any fluff and filler material. Uh, you will, we can also feed training to your schedule and uh, we can deliver it in chunks to minimize your uh, impact on your projects. We have instructors who are hands-on and working on the real projects at the real time. I'm actually uh, also delivering the training myself uh, for uh, some of the clients for our best accounts and we also offer you massive savings when compared to traditional training when you pay per person per day. We only charge you for instructor's time so savings can be really significant. You can contact us at contact at Thank you for watching.